Up close to the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, the waves of the ocean that last month crippled this facility now lapping against the rocks. Inside, workers are still trying to properly shut down the plant. These images have been taken by a Japanese film crew deep inside the 20 kilometer no-go zone. They wear full protective suits and measure the radiation levels constantly. Around them, towns deserted, widespread destruction from the tsunami. Animals abandoned. At this farm, the carcasses of dead pigs presumably starved. These are likely to be some of the last images of the exclusion zone. The government has now cracked down even on residents going in and out. There are fines, potentially even jail terms, for those breaking the law. Some rush to get in to retrieve possessions before the new restrictions take effect. Even if I bring these things home, this man says, I don't know whether I can use them. I wanted to bring something back. It's just ridiculous to buy new clothes. I'm worried about contamination, but I think I will just wash these and wear them. These stark images captured here fit with those of our own CNN crew just days ago. Houses at this village, just inside the 20 kilometre limit, sitting empty. Some cars still moving through this area. We passed through the 20 kilometre exclusion zone checkpoint and they are allowing people to move around to come in and out and that's why we've been allowed to come in here now. This man, back briefly to check on his home, prefers not to be identified but told me he worries about his health and his future. I am young and have no children. If I think about marrying and having a baby in the future, will they be healthy? Even more than older people, he says, I worry about. This is a common story for the tens of thousands of people forced from their homes by the nuclear crisis. It's a crisis that has shamed the owners of the Fukushima plant. The president of the Tokyo Electric Power Company, Masataka Shimizu, visiting displaced residents and begging forgiveness. We are sincerely sorry, he says. This man, though, not so understanding. This kind of lifestyle is tormenting us. There are sick people here, and instead of getting better, they are getting worse. Yes, says the TEPCO boss, we are sorry. We are terribly sorry. Right now, though, all so many people really want to hear is that the crisis is over and they can finally go home. Stan Grant, CNN, Minamasoma, Japan.